New at 7.30, Pittsburgh St. Patrick's Day Parade returns to its rightful time and place this Saturday, March 12th at 10 a.m. Now, earlier you heard from reporter Jessica Gway on the public safety plans for the parade. Now we're going to talk about all the fun that's in store for us. So joining me right now from the Pittsburgh St. Patrick's Day Parade organizers is Mac McCafferty. Mac, thanks for being with us tonight. Glad to be with you, Kim. Yeah, so we were talking about uh, everything that uh, we have in store, some unique things. But first of all, um, last year we actually had this in September, right? The parade we was did. moved. Yeah. So uh, tell me what you're looking forward to this year as it gets back to its rightful place and time. Well, planning for the parade is kind of a year-round event. Uh, we have a great committee. Uh, tonight there were some people out there. Hang we had a uh, committee hanging up no parking signs along the Boulevard of the Allies and in Market Square. Uh, but we have some great events in here this year. Uh, I've been trying to, and I think I've succeeded with Misty Lane Farms. We're going to have uh, some sheep. Nothing says Ireland like sheep. If when you go to Ireland, there's more sheep than there are people. Uh, I just found out tonight we're going to have a camel, uh, which is kind of unique. Uh, we, we have more bands than we've ever had. Uh, we have over 20 bands. We have a lot of really terrific acts. We have the Grand Marshal that hit it out of the golf ballpark uh, in Pete Shovlin. He's a 90-year-old guy from Donegal who has a great family, and, and uh, he's just a super yeah. uh, Grand Marshal. Well, I love all the stories behind that. And we're looking at some of the video here of uh, parades past. And to say that this is a Pittsburgh tradition really is an understatement, isn't it? I mean, this is a parade that's recognized all over the country. All over the world. Yeah. And we're, we're ranked the number one parade in the country by niche.com. I don't know what niche.com is, but <laughs> I'm glad to be number one with them. Well, you'll need to Google that. Yeah, after we uh, get off here to see. Yeah, I mean, a lot of recognition from a lot of different sites. And um, tell us about uh, the weather. I hate to, to bring up that four letter word snow, uh, but it is expected. And so what are you guys doing behind the scenes to plan for that? Uh, we're not actually doing anything for the snow <laughs> because we've had we've had weather for the parade. And I think that we'll look great. You know, it's uh, it's the parade's going to go on no matter what. And uh, we don't really have a contingency. There is no rescheduled date or anything like that. We're going to go through with it. Uh, those that don't want to show up, you know, if the weather's too bad for them, then we probably didn't want them there anyhow. We need hardy people there. And Mac, you know, earlier throughout our newscast, we were showing video from the blizzard of 93 and the Pittsburgh St. Patrick's Day Parade. So that is proof that the show went on then and the show must go on now, right? Absolutely. Okay. All right. We appreciate you being with us, Max. Thanks so much. We'll look forward to the sheep, the camels, the music, the bagpipes, everything uh, that is the Pittsburgh St. Patrick's Day Parade on Saturday. Thanks for being with us.